Hello and welcome to this movie on changing the settings on the Uniform app. The Uniform app allows you to access information away from the Office PC. It enables you to enter information as it happens and it's proved to be really popular in the field. But in this movie we just wanted to show you how you can fine tune some of the settings. So Philippa, could you just take us through that? Okay. So if we go up to the menu in the top right hand corner and go into settings. So here is a list of all the different things you can change. Um, so if you wanted to, you could change the language. Um, so change it to French. Click OK. See, it changes the all the titles into French. OK, can we change it back to English because my French isn't so good? No, Graham, your French is non-existent. That is, that is correct. So if we put it back to English. And then you can also change the text size, so if you wanted it in a larger format. Yes. There you go. Okay, that's better. And then if we go back to settings. So if we go into where it says home, here you can customise the front screen of the app. And you can also have more than one page, so you've got a second tab there. Okay, so in that case, let's take the dashboard off, let's put the sync on and then we'll have the dashboard on the second screen. Okay. And then if we go to tab 2 and put the dashboard on there, click OK yep. and go back. OK. So you've got the synchronised there. Yeah. And then you've got the dashboard on the second page. OK, great. So, and you can also customise the dashboard, so if we go into there, yep. and you go up to the little cog at the top, in here is a list of all the different things you could have on the dashboard. And that will automatically update every time you sync? Yes, yes it will. Good. On the programme I have a separate action list for my young stock and my cows. Can I put them all together on a list for the app? Yeah, you're able to create a specific action list and a vet checklist for the app. So if we go to the programme, I'll show you how to do it. You can actually do it in here. Um, you'll see there's a setting more, but I'll do it through the herdsman's action list. So the cow's head, daily tasks, action list, herdsman's action list. So what you need to do is you need to select the preset for the app. So here it is. And at the moment, the way the app is set up is that we're just looking at calf cows, we're not looking at young stock. So I'm going to change it now so it will also include any young stock that are due to PD or due to calf. Remember, if you make a change, to hit Save Settings and say OK. So now, if we go back to the app and we have a look, we can see here, at the moment we have, in terms of cows due to calf, 10 animals. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sync it using the new button that you've just put on. Okay. Receive new data. Continue. And it's now pulling in this new action list. So we'll have animals, both calved and young stock, appearing on the action list. And remember, you can do exactly the same on the vet checklist. You can create a specific vet checklist for the app. And now we can see that we have 14 cows due to calf because we're also including the young stock. Okay, brilliant. So I hope you can see from this the flexibility, um, the way that you can customise it for the individual farm. If you have any questions at all, please call the help desk and we'd be very happy to help.